Cornell. Hey, <laughs> you guys ready to race? That's right. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I, sometimes I feel like I have special powers, to be honest with you. When I put the goggles on and I'm flying and I, I get the feel for it and I feel like I'm in the zone and then uh, I just feel like I can do something that I can't do like a normal person. It's, it, it takes myself out of my body and into my mind, so it's, it's awesome virtual reality. Well, for one thing, humanity has always dreamed of flying, and now, thanks to technology, we can finally hop inside a drone and actually experience flight. So we can do all kinds of tricks in the air, or just sightseeing, and or as what we do here, we do competitive racing. And to be able to do that nowadays, there, there's a really great connection, and also a sense of community that you really grow to appreciate here. It's freedom, you know, it's uh, a year and a half ago I wasn't doing this and all it took was just one video on YouTube of these guys racing in their backyard and uh, I told myself, you know, I gotta do that. I gotta be able to maneuver through trees and like uh, flip over uh, gates and you know, like, I don't know, just feel that experience just to see if it's for me and once I got a taste of it, I never stopped. At this point I think I'm just gonna keep doing it until either I run out of money <laughs> or something else better comes along, but that's right. I don't see what that's going to be so far. Oh man. <laughs> I started flying back in 1997 and now flying these uh, FTV drones, goggles. It's uh, extreme. I mean, uh, my background is motocross. Uh, skateboarding, BMX, snowboarding, wakeboarding, I mean all those extreme sports. And now doing this, it feels like way more adrenaline. I mean, yeah. you're in the seat, you wreck, you crash and you jump out of your seat. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's adrenaline all right. My battery's done. <laughs> ah. uh, the main purpose to flying right now is to, for me it was one, to get over my height, the fear of heights. Because wow. I, I get vertigo at about five feet looking oh, down. Wow. Yeah, so it was really bad. So this actually helped a lot. Uh, it definitely changed more perspective that when you're a little kid, you wanted to always fly. Now you have a chance to at a very reasonable price. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> This is the most popular one. Everybody loves this one. Yeah, whenever I try to design tracks, I like to make it so the gates are on straightaways and they're independent. Yeah. Uh, from straightaways, and and that's like the most important part is so you can have your turns not be restricted by gates. Okay. Well, I mean, other than just being fine like a bird is absolutely amazing. Um, one of the greatest things to me, I would say, is I'm deaf in one ear and I wasn't able to get into the military or anything like jets and, and fly, anything like that. So to be able to, to compete and fly high speed flying and, and get up that level, 
was an opportunity I didn't really want to pass up. And so I can I, I can like fly like a pilot and I don't have to worry about you know my hearing and, and uh, anything like that. Well, yeah, I really got into this in December, so, and barely probably met up with these guys a few months ago, and you know, it's pretty awesome. It's awesome, yeah, you're gonna meet a lot of, meet a lot of cool people, no. fly a lot of cool places. Have you ever been into RC before? Uh, no, no. So this is all new to you? Yeah, right? yeah. Well, that's awesome, awesome, man. Yeah. That's a pretty big, big hurdle to go past. <laughs> For sure. Uh, for me, it means absolute freedom and that quench for adrenaline that I really love to get as much as possible. Uh, that's what keeps me spending a lot of my money and bringing me out every day, yeah. All right, mark check. One. Four now. Oh, never mind. All right, back truck three. Yes, good. Todd. I was right in front of the, the column. Dick Tiles just saying hi to you. I know. <laughs> nice to <laughs> <laughs>